Oh, good, you found us. How far away is carbon from smoke? Probably like five feet, maybe. Smoke like <laughs> reaches out with a, a paw to poke carbon to make sure they're real. I kind of knock your paw away, but not like mean, just kind of don't don't poke my face. Don't touch my face. <gasps> smoke is <laughs> I just I had oh, blech. And he kind of just like Sits down, like, with a loud thump. Sets the, uh... Person they're carrying down. And then sort of just, like, starts stretching and... Doing cat things. Uh, and Carbon, you see that the person Smoke has let down is the... Uh, the young humanoid creature that <laughs> Smoke had bailed out of the auction and sprinted away with. Barely living. <laughs> is it awake, asleep? It is, its eyes are open, they are sort of just staring into a, uh, like, a space, um, like, just spaced out, um, just staring. Are you proficient in medicine at all, Carbon? Um, no, I am okay. not. So, yeah, they're just sort of spaced out. Um, I speak to it. Um, I have an extra bedroll if you want to sleep. No response. It just coldly stares in the same spot. Sort of like slumped, um, over posture, um, just staring. Uh, I guess, yeah, just slumped over posture, staring like there's nothing there. I imagine Nana's like right next to me. Right, but she is definitely sleeping. <laughs> uh, I am going to gently shake her awake because I don't okay. know what to do. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm sorry to wake you. Mm. <laughs> shake more vigorously. Wake up more, please. Mm. All right. Uh, smoke just arrived, and um, I don't know how to do children and i kind of i motion to the kid uh, this doesn't seem right to me um well what's wrong emil doesn't act like this that is true um What I know of, like, my party members' spells, like, what they do. Um, I would say, I mean, as much as your character would know, anything they've cast before. Yeah, um, so I've seen Dryzen cast, like, rest Restoration or whatever. I would assume that's a thing that would help. Uh, you could certainly try. Um, uh, Dryzen can... Resort. Maybe he's cursed. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Two idiots <laughs> try and figure out what's wrong with the child. <laughs> Are you proficient in medicine, Nana? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anyone is. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think so. No. Um, it's a dump stat. We all know that. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess, how far away is Dryson? <laughs> you guys are all pretty far. You guys have to sleep pretty closely if you didn't want to get scryed on, so I assumed you guys are pretty all huddled because you don't want to get too far away from Carbon's necklace that she has. That's true. So I assumed you guys are pretty close. But, um, I, I mean, yeah. Whoever's closer, I assume, just tries to gently shake Dryson awake. <laughs> yeah. Dryson. You are woken up to <laughs> light jostling. Something wrong? Uh, we we kind of we. Sh I point to the uh, kid, and I don't know. He's acting weird, and Nana thought maybe you have like restoration spells that might help. 
you think he's sick? <laughs> I shrug. Yeah, I shrug. I don't know. He's not acting right. I guess I can try. Uh, try to go up and do a restoration on the kid. Okay. Um, you uh, place your hand, sort of like, well, right where their, uh, what's that bone called? Like your collarbone, right mm -hmm. under your neck. And you cast less restoration. And uh, there seems to be no change uh, within him. Are you proficient in medicine, Dryzen? No. Okay, I had to ask. Uh, <laughs> no, you can't. Go ahead. Uh, I guess since you're kind of examining him, I'll let you do medicine with disadvantage, Dryzen. Please roll double nat 20s. <laughs> oh shit, here it comes. It's a good way to start it off. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, easily enough, you, you get the sense that uh, this, it doesn't seem to be uh, like medically wrong, but you remember seeing a case like this earlier when you were in uh, anger? of Alistair's place, you get the sense that this creature doesn't have their soul, and with that, you get the sense that maybe it's not given back to them until they are given in an auction trade. So this this is like a husk. Okay, I think they don't have their soul, so that's why they're acting like this. Uh, I sighed very loudly into the mic, but it didn't pick up, so big <laughs> sigh. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. I didn't see it light up. Uh, well, I... We can That's figure a problem it out one more tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you, Dryzen. I'm s sorry to wake you both. No, you're fine. Yeah. Back to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, and then we'd already gone through the night stuff previously, so, but I knew I had to retcon maybe, depending on what happened with smoke. <laughs> um, but you all in the morning, you wake up, uh, there's like this gritty texture of the red soul sand between your fingernails, and all the spots where you've been attacked by the Nola god, you know, you caked into the blood stains of the previous battle is this sand that's sort of melded into your gear. Uh, a meal is prepared for you all from uh, the, the cooking section <laughs> of your little camp. And we open up to most of you slowly waking up and eating breakfast in what feels like morning. It's impossible to tell from the red dull light that sort of just seeps through the cave entrance and just lingers in the air. <laughs> that sounds delicious, Emil. Thank you. Hmm. You know, not like a pear or something? Is it? Raisins? Okay. Alright. I'm gonna hate them. Um, yeah, I, I love I love raisins. <laughs> Smoke pulls out a uh, apple. Roll a d24. <laughs> I seem to genuinely enjoy the raisins, actually. <laughs> Oh, wow, okay. Smoke pulls out an apple. Oh, no. It looks good. <laughs> I frown at the apple. So, guys, hey, there's a blue thing here. Um... What? You're also here. Wait. Me? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say beige is blue. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird to... <laughs> Dryzen's also here. blue. Yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't know what he is with this void. Is it a 
Uh, hey, what are they? Okay, they don't move. <laughs> Still slumped in like a seated position. You do, and give me a dex check. Oh no! As as Emil's doing that, I, um, we think his soul's missing. What'd you roll? Okay, so you put put it in, in their mouth, and it, their mouth just sort of open, so it's just in there. <laughs> Maybe some uh, some shoe leather soup would help. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so. Their souls missing. Um, Dryzen's. They so smoke and I gesture at the kid. Arrived last night and um, Dryzen, Nana and I looked him over and restoration didn't seem to work and she seems to remember that that's what it looked like when they were missing their souls like. You know, when they don't have their soul coin or whatever, they kind of get husky like this, so. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe the people that did the auction? Do you think we could put a soul in there temporarily? I don't think that that that's a thing we should do i hug chungus closely yeah, I, I, no. I just to chungus. <laughs> yeah i mean you could put my listen i got this uh i got this uh this little badge here which states that i am the raddest guy in hell <laughs> i am i look like phil from hercules that's what i look like but i'm a hobgoblin <laughs> That makes it so much better. Yeah. So I, I I could put Steve in there. I think. Is that how souls work? Uh, I, hmm, I'm not sure that I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. yeah. I just want to talk to Steve. That's a good idea. Do you want to try to talk to Steve? Oh, I can. I? Yeah, I mean, he's supposedly all around, right? He hasn't responded like the last 10 times. Mm hmm. Oh, you want, are you trying to talk to him? Uh, sure. Yeah, you wait. What do you say? I miss you. <laughs> okay. Roll me a D100. Oh my god, no. Can I say something actually? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do, see. Do you, it want, do, you want, do you want me to release your soul now or later? Uh, 26. Yeah, you don't get a response. Bad reception. Yeah, sorry. Um, it's all that hellfire. <laughs> so, do we have like all the conversation that we had with Grandpa? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A lot of it I don't remember, but I remember the gist of it. Yeah, yeah I don't remember much of it either. But um. And all of the options we, and all of the options we have are very bad, because all the people that Wait. would be quote unquote ideal, would would are dead. And we we thought maybe we could put Chungus. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I am Yeet Bigly now, so I'm already on the way. Of course I would. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Um, I hold up the sword, and I just kind of, like, gently, not so it, like, hurts me, but I gently hold the blade, and I just, like, Lulu, do you really think that we can redeem Zerar? Ooh, okay. Um. Grandpa, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I'm trying to think of what I want here. Because she's not supposed to talk. Go ahead. It's like an emotion that I feel. So like it would be like yeah, a happy or a sad. I'm, I'm trying to think. You... You get a feeling of optimism. Like like some somebody who's not sure of something, but is hoping that it will turn out that way. Like in a good way. But it's like worry 
It's like cautious optimism. Yeah. Um. I, I just like put it to where it's like floating again, and um. I don't think that we have any good options, but um, I would like to make Lulu happy. Smoke could rule. Smoke could rule. Would you take over the material plane if you ruled? We could establish oh, safe trade for work. fruit, so that <sighs> you don't. Mm, no. Yes. No. What is material plane? Where you used to live, up there, when you had the break. Oh, you mean where Smoke Smoke's Island is? Yes. No, no, no. Smoke would only want to go back to Island every once in a while. I just have talking things. Like, that's a thing for me, I guess. <laughs> my shield talks, my sword talks. What does not yes, really hello. talk? I'm here. Shh, shh, shh. You gotta be quiet. Um, <laughs> Wait, can, you, can your shield rule help? Shutting up now, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, you're just very loud. Oh, um, it's fine. <laughs> What's um, his name again? Like, Gerald? Gerald. 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 <laughs> it's hard to that's right. Gerald, on the back. You... Gerald, if you rule hell, you would you take up? over the material plane? Wait, sorry, I didn't hear you. The ethereal <laughs> interference. What was that? <laughs> if you ruled hell, would you take over the material plane? Of course not. Okay, I was gonna. <laughs> You're journal good. We have lots of I candidates am. here. Lawful good is my alignment. Lawful good doesn't match with hell, though. So. At this point, <laughs> Old Man Wax sort of like wakes up and he's like smacking his 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 like I want, I want to say gums, but he's in a form that you can hear his teeth. So he's, he's no um, so. yeah, he just you just hear him like like he's got old man dry mouth in the morning. Morning, Gramps. And uh, there we go. That's what he looks like, except for he's only wearing <laughs> Beja's stark robe, and that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, he has my robe of useful one. I'm just yeah. imagining like a grown man, like barely out of the shower, grumpy as fuck, wearing the same. Yeah, thing. basically. Yeah, except for he looks much more clean now that he's <laughs> not a really old man. <laughs> um, but uh, he has the book you gave him, Beja. Which, by the way, I think I wrote down the spells, but I couldn't find them. So oh, I'll figure it out. I think I wrote them down somewhere, but we can worry about it later. <clears throat> But, um, yeah, so he sort of sits up and smoke is going to cast one of the smiles on him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what does he make? Charisma? Uh, yes. DC of 12. <laughs> he rolled a natural one. It's a smile really big. And it honestly doesn't look that awkward. It kind of suits him. He has like a really nice smile. He has dimples that you can see right above where like uh like his cheek or right below his cheekbones when he smiles. And he says, "Ah, the want of smiles. That's very nice." Hi everybody. Um don't know why this was necessary. It does kind of hurt to smile when you're being forced to. Uh, anyways, we were talking about Zerile, right? It's kind of rude for you to eavesdrop. I'm just kidding.
So if we re because one of them will want to kill the other, and that will be like part of it. I don't really want to kill anybody, but I feel like our hands are kind of tied at the same time. Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, so if we give the crown to Zerile, who became corrupted because of, I forget, wasn't, didn't she want power or something, and that's why she became corrupted? Will she just be corrupted again? We need to have a meeting with these guys. See which one has the best to offer. Oh. You really shouldn't, but... <laughs>
Weren't you on the Alistair train for so long? So, question, but just a for clarification, uh, Alistair started the invade. <laughs> Wait, did we leave? <laughs> Hello! Can you hear me now? Hello? Oh, okay, there we go. I don't know why I wasn't talking. Um. What shit? What was I gonna say? Oh, uh, so hey, I have a question to, just for clarification. Did Alistar start the war or the invasion on the material plane, and then you locked them up, or he wanted to? So who, okay. It's like Max Fury Road up there. Um, so who opened the invasion? Was it just Asmodeus? Like, yeah, I'll just do this idea without him. Asmodeus. So Alistar's just really peeved that he can get to join in the fun. I'll look at Beja. I'm just 12. I don't know about politics. <laughs> I don't know how that works yet. like 17 our age. How old is Nana? Is that legal? information what the other two want. I, mm, uh, uh. 
You want to type the Kaz first? Can we just like... Oh, but if he knows that, he's going to want to kill us. Is he lawful evil? Is there like a way we can send him a message? Say, hey, we just want to talk. Don't send your guards at us. Any other suggestions? I don't care, I'm waiting for Dryden's suggestion. <laughs> no? Uh, the mess, the, 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 the street rat one. Street rat? The city rat one. There we go. A dire pigeon. <laughs> right, good old classic male. Yeah, that that's a little personal touch, so like it. <laughs> Yeah. We are in treachery. Very cute. Oh, I don't know.
I I I think we should talk to Kaz first because if his thing doesn't sound as great, we can always say like, "Hey, oh, hey, Zariel, we're like with you now, and since you're now here, you can help us out and not have us just kill two demons in one suit." Alistair would be very peeved. <laughs> I think isn't it to kill Cass? <laughs> After you disappointed him so quickly. Um, yeah, what deal did you make with him again? Did any of us else make a deal? Because I kind of forgot. Well, that's pr that's pretty easy to yeah. You wouldn't have neighbors. You wouldn't have an island. Well, I mean, when he made the deal with Drisco, well, he didn't make the deal. When he proposed the deal to Drisco, he didn't. He said that he wouldn't mess with the material plane, but he said he would keep Wakefield. I don't remember.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wanted the pigeon, but yeah, that can work too. <laughs> Oh, it's cute. No. <laughs> so <laughs> Netflix and chill. Wait, should we like mention the leotard so he's kind of embarrassed so then he'll be like, alright, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> Wait, uh, we want to talk, uh, Oh my god. <laughs> Smoke, put it down. We need it. Bad smoke. <laughs> no, let go of the pigeon. <laughs> Um, I don't know, just say, hey, we wish to just talk to you. Don't hurt us. No, oh, no, we shouldn't say that. <laughs> if you if you promise not to hurt us. Give the pigeon a snack for his good deeds. He eats pigeons. <laughs> Just like different people's like, go hold on, let me add this and then <laughs> Another, another strike there. <laughs> T 
To whom it may concern, this is Noah Mostra. <laughs> Can we look over his shoulder to see? <laughs> Maybe he has swim meet every day. <laughs> Alright, what are what are our selling points besides that we have his name? Or like what questions are we gonna ask, I should say? <laughs> Well, we need to find out if we want Kaz to roll, because then, is there another way to get her grace back, or do we just have to let, what, what do we need to get her grace back again, just for her to roll hail, the crown thing? Do we even have the crown? Angels or demons? Yeah, and I would he have wanted to come to the mortal realm if he wasn't influenced, do you think? We try to keep him a secret so people don't kill him. Hopefully they didn't kill him. I don't think so. Do you remember all the sigils? <sighs> Didn't we 
talk you out of Iwatai? Yeah, maybe go there, you know, armor yourself up before you go to the place where you got betrayed. No, I'm just saying that, you know, I... <laughs> I can give you 200 gold, I think. I hope we're gonna put you in the nursing home and make sure you're shaking kids. <laughs> Oh, we do. And, uh, <laughs> Black, there we go. Oh, uh, hey, before, you know, things get crazy and you leave, you know some guy in, is it Daxia? Yeah, he, mm, I don't know, it's been like a few years, but he runs the White Spire there, 
I think he's an old man. He can barely see. He had a daughter, I'm assuming, or has a daughter. I forget his name. <laughs> Unveil the unliving. Yeah. The one who like takes off his eyes. Yeah, who's that girl? It's a girl that he carries around in his necklace. Picture of, not like an actual person. I am a curious boy. Yeah, but we didn't give him the wrong message, right? Like, he gave us a heart. <laughs> your body I see you're not very uh, well versed in female fashion. <laughs> Ooh. 
We could. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, <I remember. laughs> no. <laughs> I get your house back here. I think we said we're gonna milestone or something. Or are we gonna switch them to milestone or something? Um, what was I gonna say? Shit, I don't remember anymore. I say yes. Time to plan for that session. Yeah. Uh, I keep trying to like stomp on the floor to see if he can hear me from downstairs. Yeah. Did you hear like the one stomp that I did? Oh, well, okay, well. <laughs> yeah, he's downstairs, I'm in the kitchen. be weird if you're like yeah go upstairs to our kitchen <laughs> no oh we got three jars of peanut butter
<laughs> yeah. No, but I think we're finally settled down. Moving sucks. <laughs> I still have this box of shit in the kitchen. Follow the cells, you can set up smoke to be king of the underworld. Hello. Wait, did we decide where this, the crown is? Hello, then, Daddy. I guess I'll go first. Wouldn't she be in the middle though? I guess I'll go first. Oh, 
Was there something that happened in the night that we weren't aware of? Maybe it's because you haven't brushed your teeth in a long time. <laughs> I can hear him talking. I can't even make out the words, but I can hear him mumbling. <laughs> I am part rogue now. Watch out. So on a scale of one to ten, how do you think how this how well is this gonna go? I give it a, a four. Alright. No, you also have your key. You can also just get us into another dimension. And we have the lamp. We can make this into a democracy. Yeah, so Ryle can be the judge, Supreme Court. Uh, what are the other two branches? <laughs> I never remember. Oh yeah, the the one that's the president. That okay. So we can give a. Uh, I don't know. We can give uh, Alistair the presidency. <laughs> can... No, Cong Congress starts wars. Can yeah, but he can like veto the shit. Yeah, that's why Alistair should be like just the president, and then cause cause if they, I well the the Congress has to agree with him, and that Congress is gonna be. Uh, cask school and they both fucking hate each other so nothing's gonna get done until the next election <laughs> well that's where it is now <laughs> I think I think I'm a five now, right now. It's even seasons. I don't think we're gonna die, but I don't think we're gonna get anything done. I knew that was coming at some point. I thought you were gonna say, but you're my one. So let's not regret our decision of walking into the fucking Cascadol's palace and be like, hey, what's up? Yeah, but we're not sure about that. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we, okay, we need to talk to you because we don't know shit <laughs> about what's going on, about your political status. We're uninformed voters. I have a 20 charisma. 
I also have proficiency or advantage with something with persuasions against demons and devils. I'm just cute as fuck. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at those horns pretending to be an actual demon, but you're just a remnant of Asmodeus. So you remember that key that you have and you know we also have that other thing that I probably shouldn't say out loud. That should be like if things go awry, we should get out of here. Okay, great. Um everyone else, I think uh we're on the same page ish. Maybe. You don't want Beja to get hurt. We want the material plane to be out of these people's agendas. And then I don't I don't think we really care how hell is run as long as they don't come into our territory. And then possibly save Zarile if we can do it another way. Everyone okay? No uh, weird things that we need to discuss now, like secret betrayals or anything like that? We are in treachery, so it's understandable. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Isn't he with us? Whoa. You know, we have, we always have that one person who just leaves. Is it, is it us? Where would we start? I'm assuming that Blue Boy is not here. We do have like the letter that we can show them. Yes, do you have like is that magical armor that you put on yourself ready just in case?
Wait, how'd you get that? Oh my god. <laughs> Should we clap for that? I feel like... Uh... <laughs> Guess who... Yo, uh, come out awkwardly clapping. Uh, yeah, thanks for the introduction. Yeet Bigly. How's your day, guys? like an elevator or like This is not the tone I thought Casca Fool would portray. I don't know, more anguish and terror, not like sports clubby and biker gangy. Sheet him on the ground.
Fish Nick is like, no! <laughs> no! I think we have a choice. But like, is Yeet Bigly his idea? Is the arena his idea? Yeah. Yeah, is this like, does Cat's Festival like make the arena for you guys? The guards are escorting us out. Gotcha. Oh, what? Can we like open, oh, can we open a door? I don't know, I don't open a door. <sighs> that hasn't stopped us before. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> so twelve. Yes. Sorry, I was looking trying to look for somebody. <laughs> My question. Is did Catholic Cthulhu make all this stuff for you guys, or is this like something you guys made? <laughs> okay. Nope. <laughs> Uh. <coughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs>
Oh, I see that you just so fucking small. It's pretty good. <laughs> Did you like move his legs so they can be on the board?
Was she that human woman? Was she that human woman we saw in the tower? Is the, who you're referring to? Nana, you okay? Oh, it's a lot of stairs. So it's okay if you need a breather. Oh no. <laughs> Should we not? Is it like a video or is there somebody else like actually telling? Can we can we start chanting one and two? <laughs> Yeah. 
please don't get us in trouble. <laughs> Is that what that was? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I heard the dog talk, I just thought it was the wind. <laughs> What? That wasn't a word? <laughs> um, hello. You may remember us from our many encounters before. Uh. <laughs> ah, yes, this, guys. Yeah. Yeah, we met them too. That's uh, a little awkward to have them here currently. Oh, the other two that used to be there. Anyways. <laughs> um, well, we just kind of, we're kind of in a pickle here, you know, with everyone trying to rule hell and stuff. And we just kind of wanted to know what your plans were for if you were to rule hell. Oh, that does not. Uh, I see. So, okay, let me read this carefully. <laughs> you guys can join in on the thing. Um, so, basically, no one's to hurt anyone. Can, can we change the second part of yours? Like, no one in your domain is to hurt us during this meeting. Uh, da, 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 da. 27. Okay. Alright. During this meeting. Okay. Alright, uh, sounds good to everyone before I sign my life away. Sign it.
kind of, you don't have to like dive, you know, give us intricate details, just kind of like the general 10 year, maybe 50 year plan. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know their eyes are like black voids of crying. Yeah. So, but according to this weird intelligent guy that you have in your basement somewhere, um, the diamond people give you power, so is there like a contract involved? Or a little ache, as I don't know what you guys prefer.
very kind of noble cause given the situation we're in. The problem is, they said that if they go to their world, they destroy the material plane. Great, okay. <laughs> And that's why you want a new place to rule, because this one would not exist. I mean, your place seems pretty rad given the situation. I have an edgy vibe to them. Can we do a team huddle? <laughs> Can we do a team huddle really fast? Okay. Alright. <laughs> or like make a separate room for us or something. Okay. <laughs> That's good, there's exercise. Alright, so. He doesn't seem like we're, he doesn't. Of course, he doesn't give a shit because everyone exists. <laughs> well, what if we can like wish the elves to their plane? <laughs> or with, without the consequences of the erasure of worlds. <laughs> Wishes are dangerous. Yeah, but like, yeah, but like, if we wish them away, there wouldn't be a place for him to rule. Unless we, he still wants to rule hell at this point, but he doesn't.
I'm could we? <laughs> we could just like, hey, I'm at the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Oh my god. I think Dries wanted to wish the genie out. We don't, that's like our ace of sleep. Because if he has that, then, you know, we also have the wish, which is also an ace of our sleep. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? Like, So far, he would have been a perfect candidate except for the part where it would cost us our world anyways. <laughs> what? Oh, from, um, from, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, maybe we can talk to these dying people like, hey, you know, your world got destroyed. Do you really want to destroy someone else's world and, you know, have them suffer the cost? Yeah, they, yeah, but then, like, <sighs> come on, man. <laughs> what would we ask? All right. Okay, I guess we'll go back in. <laughs> I don't know where. Okay, alright. Uh, hey, Smoke, by the way, we're under contract. You can't hurt Cascasil. Or the diving people. That's true, I guess. What? Uh, anyone else want to talk <laughs> really fast while I think of something?
But wouldn't they be the damned? No, the diamond people. Because they already lost their world. Oh, I see. Did you, did you know about Alistair's plan to go into the material plane that long, long time ago? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. You know, like currently, Alistair's planning because I know you're like behind his back with the dragon, not dragon. They drink blood, they hate uh, garlic vampires. He didn't answer my Alistair question. Yeah, we kind of give a fuck, which is why we're here. Feel nothing. Yeah, I was really, I was really with you till the blood started oozing out of your mouth.
what if we make a what if we make a plane and then have them destroy that one? Okay. <laughs> We can make a really big plane! I don't know, the plane of marshmallows. <laughs> oh man, that's really difficult for us. We don't know any magnificent wizards of that nature. Um, <laughs> oh. Yeah. What about a what about a genie? Do you think one of those if we could find one theoretically? Hmm. Ah. Didn't answer the part about the if you know what Al Star's plan. We're kind. Of, I kind of found out that he's maybe not the best, like, considerate like you apparently are in sort of kind of ways. But not, not, you still want to do your job well. Yeah, yes, yes, but I mean, let's, let's put that aside for now. Let's, for, let's just pin it somewhere. Back on task, please. You love <laughs> Can I make an insight check now? <laughs> to see what he does? Okay. Does he feel- <laughs> Does he love her? <laughs> uh... 98, 16. Fuck. And they all would like to do it. Ugh. <laughs> uh huh. Um, yeah, whatever you say. Alistair's plan. I think this is the first time I brought it up. <laughs> I think so. We don't know really. He has Wakefield. Which is a. Uh... Yep. So we've so we've heard a lot of dead bodies. Even though we couldn't, we didn't realize where bodies were stored when there was a necromancer there the first time. Where do you keep your bodies, Carver? <laughs> Underground? <laughs> they just keep going. Uh, but you were like more straightforward in some ways. Yeah, he's nicer to people. Yes. I don't know. Maybe it's because we spend more time with him that he's more sketchy. Or at least to me.
now I kind of feel bad. Rather than not confirm or deny, just occurred. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're still kind of, do you know where the crown is? Like, or I know it's like a trial or something. Oh, it's not, it says harass yours, by the way. I think I trust a dog person more than a cat person. I don't know, to terat a terrace to me is more dog like. Well <laughs> Great. <laughs> Go ahead, Carver. He's kind of has somebody over. <laughs> Jesus. That girl must be having the time of her life right now. Yeah. I'm trying to send him. <laughs> what? Oh, that just made me sad. <laughs> oh, uh, anyone have any questions for Cass right now, out of character? Okay. What the fuck? First of all, he is rustic. <laughs> I mean, I did, but I don't remember what the orcs look like.
Marshmallow Land. <laughs> I was half kidding. Yeah, no one would get hurt, I think. It doesn't have to be populated, right? Oh, I know where that is. Well, no, we need the brazier from this plane and from, yeah, from home, which we know where it is, I think. Uh, and, um, uh, and then once we have it, we can wish, or I guess we can wish for Marshmallow World now and then destroy it when we have it. <laughs> <laughs> we just make a material blade and then immediately destroy it. Maybe we can visit it to see how it's like and then immediately say bye. <laughs> like, hello! I love my new home! I know it's kind of childish, but it it's a... <laughs> No. So if we have another way to um, get you guys without destroying a plane with people on it, would you be on our side and willing to help us? Because we may have a solution. We just need to get the Brazier of Worlds. Oh, yeah, that thing, too. So there's also another problem. There's uh, Alistair, who... <laughs> I don't see a problem with you. We can, you wanted to roll something, right? God damn it. All right. Uh, perception fifteen. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Insight? Um, insight's the same. His insight is zero, so it would be ten. I think. No, no, it's the same roll. Insight, it's a plus one.
Oh, like the whole Sarah thing. Okay. Well, what happens if you get it? What? What are you doing here? What? You cool with that, Kaz? If we make him the ruler? <laughs> oh, Demolition Dirty sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I would like to... Like, it's a, like his... In, like, his not telling us the full story, is it like, hey, you're gonna die later? <laughs> or, or, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> Uh, I love him. <laughs> I don't know that, but I love him out of character. Oh, Blast has a nice ring to it. Oh. <laughs> you should make it like a chicken pen. Chicken? Okay, huddle again. So do we agree that like Alistair just sucks at this point? Possibly? <laughs> Just gives them more power. You mean Zarel or Kaz? <laughs> uh, Novum Ostra members and smoke only for now. No.
Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, bring me a water. If you... <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> no. What? How did that my fault? <laughs> See, he's fine. <laughs> uh, we're liking what you're selling, but we gotta look at our options as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll tell Sarah that uh, you were. We talked to you. I shake my head kind of no, not yet. Let's wait. But if the is it We don't know what to do with it. Well, we still need, we need the crown first. We need that. We need the crown. tell them right now let's talk to the other two people if we want to talk to Alistair still and then if we're still on Kaz's side yeah so we all I mean I kind of feel bad because he's been nice but also yeah Yeah, he's. I just feel bad backstabbing the guy who's like, "Yeah, go do. It. I trust you guys." Uh, it's just. I know he's an NPC and not existent whatsoever, but I, as Elizabeth, feel terrible. <laughs> To be fair, she was already fucked up anyways. It just... <laughs> she killed her father! <laughs> she... She was no saint <laughs> to be... <laughs> No, 
No, okay. Do you remember remember the remember the hot and crazy meter? You have to stay within like a certain range. She's out of that range. <laughs> Don't if she doesn't, she's blind at this point. <laughs> Well, if Kaz Cthulhu can turn himself into a woman, I'm sure we can all get where we need to go. <laughs> I say we're like, hey, we'll come back with you later when we need a decision. He was going to take us there, I think. Yeah. It's like, hey, we'll just, I like, we like what you're doing. We're just going to, yeah. yeah. And, you know, signing a legal binding document is kind of a big thing. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, just if you, we have like a way to give you more power over Alistair, we you find a way, would you be able to? Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I'm kidding.
He hasn't been doing well. Oh, yeah. He's improving. Clap, clap. Oh my god. 